Hey guys, Gary from Red Rock Maintenance. So today I got something exciting to unbox. See two big boxes here. Um, so what I want to show you quickly is how I used to sharpen my uh, lawnmower blades. So I would use this vise here and I would use this hand grinder. And I'm getting tired of doing it because you can't sharpen them very good or very properly. So I decided to buy a blade sharpener. So let's open this up and see what's inside. <laughs> Alright you guys, so let's open this up and see what's inside, what model it is, and what brand it is. So I actually got two parts to it. I've got the, um, the actual blade sharpener, and I've got the, uh, the collection for the, all the, the um, you know, sediment that gets off of the blade. So i got to find something to open this up with. Maybe an axe will do. Now this is pretty big. I'm not sure where I'm going to put it right now. So here's the first piece. Ah. All right, so I was contemplating not getting this, but because we have a tight area in this workshop, I decided to get it just to be safe so I wouldn't have everything all flying all around. Um, so that's what I got so far. That's pretty big, kind of heavy, but it's heavy duty. So it's gonna collect all the dust and sediment. So let's put that down. All right, so now this box, I'm not gonna lie. Looks like it's been through the ringer, man. It looks like they beat it up on the way here. So let's open this up and see what's inside. I've seen a few of these online and I'm kind of excited to see it and use it. It says do not drop, but it looks like it's been uh, completely uh, cleaned the wrong way. Styrofoam everywhere. Alright, just gonna put this on the floor for a second. Move this box away. Alrighty. Alrighty, so there it is. It's pretty heavy, let me tell you. Let me give you a closer look. So here we go, RBG 712. Now I ordered this about eight weeks ago. They said it was gonna take eight weeks to uh, ship and get out here. So finally got it, which is exciting. So let's take another closer look at it quickly. So we've got the grinding wheel right here. Got the angles here for the blade. You have to get all the styrofoam off. Um, we've got the on switch right here. Got your power cord right here, I have to plug that in. And I'm assuming on the back here is where you put the uh, the uh, blade thing. So it's actually not that big. I might just see, <coughs> sorry. I might just see if I can leave it here. Um, I thought it was gonna be a lot bigger than this. If I just clear this little area out here, that will be fine, I think. I do have to consult my brother though. So I'm very excited to see this and have this. So I've got, uh, Parts breakdown sheet here. Let's see what's on the front. So here we go. The instructions for it and whatnot. It shows how you do the blade sharpening. So I'm quite excited for this. Uh, my blades, I have not been sharpened very well. Um, I have uh, not been happy with the way I've been doing my blade sharpening, so that is why I ordered this. Now, the price of this. This was not cheap, $4.99 or $5.99 American. So Canadian, I think I paid about $800 for it. Plus I had to pay duties and shipping on it, um, which was I think $134. So I have to pay that as well still. So it's almost $1,000, which I guess is not too bad. Um, but you know, if this helps to get our blades to be sharp and uh, helps our, our lines be nicer cut, then I am more than willing to do this. Like I said, I'm just getting tired of doing it with the hand grinder. Should have ordered this a long time ago. Uh, it's taking me about two years to actually decide to buy this. Uh, I was looking at other uh, brands to buy, uh, but I decided to buy this one. So I'm just gonna set the um, the blade grinder uh, catcher up and uh, let's see if we can figure that out. All right, so there you go, it's set up. I am actually quite happy I got this now because it does look like it's gonna shoot stuff everywhere. Um, so now here's the plug. 
the plug I have is just over there, so it looks like it's a nice long plug, so it's gonna reach. I will have to ask my brother if this is okay for me to use it here. But anyways, we'll just try it like this quickly. It's just plugged in. All right, here's a test. Let's turn it on. Look at that. All right, so now all we have to do is get some blades. So maybe I'll get some blades and try it out and we'll see how it works. So far I like that, that's much easier than the hand grinder and when I put it through this machine I can see how far off I was actually on my blade angle so this will actually get sharper blades now which will be awesome. Um, so let me show you quickly. So you can see, I don't know if you can see that or not, the end of the tip there you can see that it's really not good catching in. So I'm assuming that the uh, bottom of this blade here is really rounded. And this is all still pretty square or straight. Uh, since this is my first time doing this, I'm not too sure how this works. So I'm gonna have to research it some more and uh, figure it out. But that's what I'm assuming. You can see the blade's really t uh, rounded there. So I don't know if I have to keep on grinding to completely make it level. I'll have to look into that. As well, I'm gonna have to get a blade balancer because uh, these blades are probably not balanced whatsoever. So that will also help with the uh, getting the blades properly and uh, won't shake the the lawnmower is much from what I understand. So anyways, here it is, the RBG712. This so far has been well worth the money I spent on it and I just did the first blade sharpening. So guys, if you haven't done this already, please like the video, subscribe to the channel. And thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video.